One of the harshest ways of restraining persons with mental illness in Ghana is to chain them to a post or a bed. In the process, many people with mental illness are physically or emotionally damaged. Well, mission was at Abanse in the Odumase Krobo in the eastern region and reports on the plight of 19-year-old twins James and John Tete, who are relying on the support of their 68-year-old grandmother for survival. Chained, locked, and forgotten, these words best describe the deteriorating state of 19-year-old twins, James and John Tete, who have multiple disability and are battling mental illness. <laughs> When 68-year-old Cecilia Tete decided to take on the challenge of Kachan for John and James after the demise of their parents, she did not know she was in for a daunting task. Hey. Hello. Hello. For two years, the twins have been chained outside their home, sleeping on this mattress with their grandmother. This is because the twins lit a match and set fire to their room ablaze months ago. Cecilia fears they may repeat the incident at the slightest opportunity, hence her decision to chain them. Uh, when I don't chain them, they will roam, and I don't have the strength to chase them. She has even been heard severally in attempts to cater for them. The twins cannot be released because the keys to the padlock are missing. At 68, Cecilia fears time is not on her side. She cannot work and depending on 106 CDs every two months from the LEAP program is inadequate to cater for herself and the boys, so they eat once a day. Oh. Jesus. I'm appealing to Ghanaians to come to our aid, especially in getting quality mental health care for the boys. The condition of the twins is the face of mental health in most homes and prayer camps in the country. So what assistance is the Department of Social Welfare given to the family? I connected her to social welfare and they have been taking care of them. The leap money too is not sufficient. They give them medicine. But according to her, their medicine, the one they give them is not the, uh, the one who can, which can calm them down. The situation wasn't all that good. It wasn't the best. And then we tried as much as possible to enroll them on the NHIS for them to access free uh, health care. Aside the LEAP program, what other options are available to Cecilia and the twins? I would suggest the grandmother maybe will apply for the PWD disability fund and then we'll see the trading which she might fit in. Then we'll assist in that direction too. They will have to give them special medical care because the nurse who visits them isn't giving that. Even though she goes there to give some health care, I think that is not enough. There is the need to improve domestic conditions of people with mental illness, develop community care programs, raise mental health literacy in communities and among health workers, and also to ensure that their basic rights are monitored and guaranteed.